creator and founder of Silky Sex. And I'm here today to do our Wigs 101 series, How to Store Your Wig. So if this is your first time joining us as a part of our Wig 101 series or just joining us, I want to say welcome. This is our fifth and final video of the series. We did have four other videos. They will be listed down in the description box below. Please go check them out. They're very beginner friendly. And if you're more intermediate or you wear wigs a lot, I think you will find some valuable information in them, especially in the last one. So like I said, they are in the description box below. For this series, we are trying to get you caught up and get you into wigs and what's going on for the new decade. So before we get into wig stores, just a little bit about me. My name is Ikoya. I am the creator and founder of Silky Sacks. A silky sack is a silk line bag that I designed to not only store your wigs but also to protect them and add longevity to them. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide cutting down on friction which leads to matting, tangling and a lot of shedding. So if you'd like to learn more about silky sacks, the information and the website will be down in the description box below. Now without further ado, let's get into wig storage. So. Wigs, you guys, are all at some point because they are not coming from the scalp and they're not getting the nutrients and the blood and all the different things that it takes and needs from your scalp. They all, whether they are human or synthetic, have a lifespan and will come to an end. But there are things that you can do to increase your wig's lifespan and to get the most out of your wigs. And one of them is how you store them, how you manipulate them, how you take care of them, how much products you put in them, how you wash them, all has a factor in the care. But storage is a really, really big and important part of wigs. There's a ton of videos about storing your wigs. There's a ton of questions that we always get about wig storage. And so we're just going to share with you a few options and what I think about each one. So, the most popular way people store their wig is the packaging that it came in. So, this wig, I just put it back into the plastic packaging that it came in because I just used this as a novelty wig. But I don't recommend that you store your wigs back in the plastic packaging that it came in because plastic is made up of fibers that are very, very drying to hair. It's the reason why we wear silk or satin bonnets as opposed to a shower cap. So even though you can put it back in here, it's the most convenient and the easiest way, especially if you're buying expensive human hair and using human hair units, you will find that over time the plastic is going to dry the hair out and it's going to cause um, some matting and shedding and it can even take away the style of the wig over time. Now the other option that is very popular is the wig head. And I do suggest that you have at least one wig head, especially if you're wearing multiple wigs or really getting into wigs and have a collection. They're great for styling your wigs. Um, they are also great to cut the lace off of your wigs. But when it comes to storage, I find the, this not the greatest option. I do have some of these wig heads and I like to display some of my wigs in my office. But when it comes to storage, they don't really protect your hair from like getting like dust and um, mold if it's out and also it can still get tangled and matted with this also the biggest thing with wig heads is they're not very convenient you can't travel with the wig head you can't put this in your drawer you can't put it in your closet but it takes up a lot of space and if you have a really big collection over time this is probably not going to be that great of an option now, I used to do a lot of sew-ins, and this way is an extremely popular way to store your wigs. I don't know what this is called. I call it a garment bag, but what you would do is there's a hanger inside, and so what you would do is take the hanger. My hanger broke, you guys, so I don't know how good it's going to work for this demonstration, but you take the hanger, and as you can see, there's some clips at the bottom, so you would take your wig or your extensions and you would close them in the hanger. My hanger broke. So that would be another con right there, right? But yeah, so I don't know how good this is gonna work, but you would take there, it would hold the hair in place, and then you put it back inside the garment bag. You pull it up like so, and then you take the zipper and you would zip it. Now, it would be in the bag like so. So what I found, oh, and it just did it, when I would unzip it, the hair 
it gets caught in the zipper. Oh my God, you guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this out. But yeah, the hair will get caught in the zipper. And so not only that, but also the plastic. Plastic is very drying. So even though this is a really popular option, um, I just do not think you should be using zippers in hair. So the last, well not the last, but another case that I found was this case. And this case is nice, especially if you're like a hairdresser or have like hair tools. Um, you definitely can put those in there because it's a bigger space when you open it up. It has like these little compartments to store hair in. It has these clips that you would clip your wig into, but most wigs are not this shape. Like this wig is longer. I definitely think that the hair would get caught again in the zipper. And then as far as traveling goes, I don't think this is really travel friendly for me. I don't want to be traveling with a whole nother piece of luggage. I want to bring less luggage and things that will um, pack a little bit more easier. So that is that. So last but not least, we have the silky sack. And I showed earlier in the video how the silky sack works, but let me just show you because I really use it. Now, let me say this. When I came up with silky sacks, back in the idea back in 2014 human hair wigs were more popular in these last few years synthetic wigs have become really popular but they're also getting more expensive so this is the Bobby Boss Amber wig that I love I've been storing it in here and as you can see she's been inside my silky sack as you can see now there is a little bit you see that I did get a little bit of tangling there but as far as tangling goes, I don't think she's as tangled as she would be had I kept her in plastic, in all honesty. And let me just tell you this, how you put your hair in any of these is how it's going to come out. So if you put your wig in the silky sack, in the plastic, and on the wig head, all nappy and matted, guess what? It's going to come back all nappy, tangled, and matted. So it's really important that you take the time to brush your wigs and extensions or clip-ins, whatever you want to call them, out before you place them in whatever packaging. So here it is, as you can see, the silky sack is just holding in place. And what I love about it and why I um, invented it is because I was spending a lot of money on human hair and sew-ins. And I was like, okay, all these things are not helping add longevity to the hair, are helping to increase the hair. They're protecting it, but they're not increasing the hair and so I sleep on a silk pillow I sleep with a satin bonnet and I was like why haven't any hasn't anyone done this for hair and like I said back then it was much more human hair being used but even when synthetic hair is getting more expensive you want to get the most out of your wigs and so what I like most about the silky sack is after you put the hair so you have it's in there so you can see after you put it in the sack you can see it's still let me just show you still clips still hanging there then you can pull your drawstrings you can tie them if you want, and then you can take, you can fold it up, you can put it in your bag, you can put it in your purse, you can put it in your drawer, you can even tie these and hang it up in your closet, and it just makes it more convenient, especially for traveling, and the most important thing is, it's not just protecting the hair, it's helping to decrease that tangling and matting and stuff it does when it's just lying in something else and getting a lot of friction. So, I hope these options helped. Let me know down below how you store or protect um, your wigs and what you use. Um, these are the options that I see and I use. So we love to have these conversations here over in Silky Sex. So make sure that you comment down below. And also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop a video. We come to you every single Monday with wig reviews, hair tutorials, hair reviews so go ahead and hit that button and then if you're watching over on Facebook make sure you give this video a like and a share we love you over there on FB2 as always I want to say thank you so much for watching and remember better care is better